Thanks. Coach, um, you and Coach Wilson have kind of a unique circumstance of playing in the NBA, coaching the NBA, head coaches, and then now back in college. Just your thoughts on him coming back and being the coach here at Indiana and what he can bring to the Big Ten and just call the basketball. Yeah, it's, it's, it's special, it, you know, coming back to your alma mater. I know that from experience, uh, you know, taking over program at Iowa State. I know the passion that you have, obviously, when you take over uh, for your alma mater and, uh, you know, the pride that you have for the program, you know, especially Mike with everything that he accomplished uh, as a player here, as a player in the league, and as a coach in the league. He's, he's phenomenal, does a great job. His team takes on the personality of him. They're tough. Um, and, uh, you know, he deserves a lot of credit for the start that they've gotten. So, you know, it's a tough game for us after that marathon we had the other night. And, you know, I thought our guys really went out and competed and got us off to a great start. Uh, you know, the things we were doing offensively early, I thought we went away from that a little bit to allow them uh, to get back into it. A couple bad shots led to transition. And then we got too, too dribble happy uh, out there. We missed some great looks. We missed some really good shots. Part of that could have been legs. Uh, from the other night and just got to keep grinding. Um, got a tough one coming up here in two days now to get ready for Michigan, uh, but I'm really proud of my team for how they went out and competed. Um, best effort of the year from a half court defensive standpoint and certainly something we can build on. Three point shooting has been a recurring theme, Fred. What do, why do you think it, it's still not a come yet? Yeah, it's uh, you know just something we got to keep working on and getting reps on. And you know we had a couple games, uh, you know, two or three games ago where we really shot the ball well, and I thought that was going to get us rolling. And then we did not shoot it great the other night. One thing we've been able to do is get to the free throw line and manufacture points. We were not able to do that tonight, uh, and we did not get to the free throw line enough uh, the other night as well. We did score 54 in the paint uh, the other night, and um, you know that's something we have to continue to try to do when the ball's not going in from three. But you know, I thought, uh, again, half-court defense was excellent when we got in there. They scored off our turnovers, capitalized, I think, 21 points off of our 14 turnovers, which isn't a terrible number on the road, especially the way they play, uh, but they converted when they did get them. How are, you, how are you guys able to contain Trey Jackson Davis through the first couple minutes? Yeah, I thought our guys executed well. Again, you put a game plan in with not a lot of reps just because of what happened uh, on the road at North Carolina State with the game that, uh, you know, the four overtime game. We just weren't able to do a lot of live reps with uh, trying to keep their legs for this early one. And, you know, he's one of the best players in the country. And we knew it would be a, a very tall order for our bigs. I thought Eduardo gave us good minutes uh, out there when Derek was gassed uh, early. And, uh, you know, it's the most minutes he's ever played in his career uh, the other night. So, you know, we had a couple different schemes for him. I thought we executed him well. Uh, and then we rotated well. Uh, you know, one of the biggest plays, we got the thing down to six. And we closed out a little bit short. Um, to uh, to Stewart in the corner, push it right back up to nine. But again, overall, you know, for us to be able to hang in it when the ball wasn't going through the hoop uh, is growth for our team. Six second chance points is phenomenal uh, for us. And if we can continue with those trends, um, you know, we're going to be fine. You know, you guys spot before, as you mentioned before, that it was a shooter when you played. What is the headspace like when when you're in a slump? Yeah, I mean, you know, for let's take Casey for example, uh, you know, started off the year sluggish and had one game where he saw that thing. I think he hit the five or uh, hit six against uh, South Dakota that carried over. And, you know, you need to have games like that where you see it go through. And, you know, again, it's, it's all about getting reps in. Our guys are doing that. They're getting in extra shots. They care. And, you know, again, I do think it's a matter of time before we get on a streak where we're hitting our shots. Um, but again, the free throw line is where we've made up for our lack of shooting. And you know, when we get both of those and they start to fall, our paints in the point are up, I think about 12 points from last year. Uh, Got to continue to uh, take advantage of that when those shots aren't falling as well. Race Thompson also had a pretty big game. How have you seen him develop over the years? Yeah, he was terrific. And you know, I know he's the team captain here and he's the, I think, heart and soul of this team for everything that he gives them. He's got great size, length, uh, you know, he's good in the post. Um, you know, just does a little bit of everything for this team. But I, I've, I've always been a big fan of, uh, of Race. How much tougher in the end brought in some shooters with Parker Stewart and Miller Cop. With Trace inside, how much tougher does that make it to defend him when they can space the floor like they weren't able to maybe in years past? Yeah, it, it does make it very difficult. It's a pick your poison type defense. Are you going to allow like what Marshall did and, you know, Jackson Davis goes for 43. And then uh, another game he gets double teamed and they kick it out and their shooters knock him down. They score 110 in a couple overtimes. But uh, with the zone, you know, where they were able to knock down shots to stay in that thing. So it is, it, it's a very difficult team to defend because of their post presence and their ability to space the floor with the shooters. 
with Bryce in particular, his, his shooting slump from three at least is something that's been carrying on a little bit longer. Is there something with his form or? Well, I mean, if you look at his shots, his balls hit every part of the rim and bounced out. We had a lot of those tonight. Ladd had one, uh, Casey had two, uh, Bryce had a couple. Uh, CJ's shots were right on line and, um, you know, he's, again, shooting, I, I, I am confident that they will start to fall. I just got to keep after it, keep getting reps and uh, hopefully take the lid off the basket. After that game the other night, you guys went into two or three overtimes or four, whatever it went. You come in here, how, I guess how pleased with you that your team got off to that strong start like that. I know they didn't sustain, but were you a little worried about maybe how they'd come out and start now? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's tough. The, the schedule that was given to us to have to play the last day of the challenge on the road and then have to bounce back and play an early game on the road again. It's, you know, it's tough to have to, um, to, have to do that, but I get it. You know, it's where we are right now. We got to win. Uh, so we're not put in these situations. And, um, you know, we're, again, we're, we're going to play the schedule that's given to us. We're going to keep battling. We're going to keep grinding and we're going to keep growing. And, you know, I, I am confident with this team. We will, we will win games. And, uh, and put ourselves in a position. Even today, that ball, you know, you shoot 30% in the first half, and it's a four-point game. And, you know, there's going to be nights like that. Uh, you know, hopefully not too many of them, but, you know, when that ball goes through the hoop, it's, it's a lot more fun out there. You can see the big picture with all this. You trust that everything will, will fall into place. How does, how does the players feel about it? I'm sure they're frustrated that they're not making their shots. Yeah, I mean, you know, but again, uh, you know, going into this one, we're two possessions away from being 7-1 and one with not shooting the ball well. So, you know, just try to talked about the reality of it, about where we are. I mean, you know, we're close and we're not shooting the ball well. And, you know, again, I do have confidence that we will start making shots. I really do. Um, you know, I know it's hard to hear that as a fan, but, you know, I, I see these guys every day uh, when they come in the gym, when they come in and get extra work in, they care. And that's a big part of this thing. If you got a group that doesn't care, doesn't give a damn, then, you know, you're in trouble. But our guys, you know, they love it. They love being in the gym. And uh, you know that's a big part of getting that thing turned around. As a coach, if it's if it's ball movement or something, you can point to something and say, "Here, here's what you need to fix." When, with this thing, where you know shooting to some degree is just, is it going to go or is it going to not go? What do you what do you say? How do you correct? Well, as you keep talking about this thing, Jimmy, I mean, you know, it's, you got to be careful with how much right. you, you address talk. You know, it's, sometimes it's the domino effect. You know, as soon as you see it go in. You get in that rhythm and it falls on to the next guy and the next guy. Sometimes when you don't, it's the same effect. You see with free throw shooting as well. And, you know, we just got to, again, our big thing is keep grinding, keep working, and, uh, and we'll climb out of it. Thank you. <laughs>